What's up, man? How's it going? Hope we don't lose connection. <clears throat> so I'm just cutting some plaster bandage right now because I'm going to um, bandage my arm to create a forearm um, like a forearm to sculpt on. I'm planning on making a gauntlet for uh, molding and casting some gauntlets. How's it going, man? How's it going? So uh, the gauntlet that I want to do is an 89 gauntlet uh, to offer people. If they'd like one, it'll be made of latex, stuff like that. But for right now, I need to create the actual thing to be sculpted on. So I gotta cut some plaster bandage here and uh, bandage up my arms so that I have something to sculpt on. So I'm just cutting some strips at the moment. Not sure how many I'm gonna need because it's just the uh, form to actually sculpt on. It's not uh, it's not for any other particular reason. So, just wanna be over prepared. But I also don't wanna make it too thick either, otherwise I won't be able to get my hand out. Congrats on 1K. Thank you so much, man. I know it's not huge, like I'm not the biggest YouTuber on the planet, but I very much appreciate that 1,000 people out there like my content. I think this will be enough. Put the rest back in the bag. I'm the guy from Instagram who's making a picture of my friend. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. How's it going, man? How's it going? I got a few commissions that I'm still working on, but I'll hit you up the moment that uh, the moment that I can I can start on that. And I'm really sorry for your loss, bro. All right, I need a bowl of water. A bowl of water. Gonna use a pot. No problem, dude. Yeah, loss really sucks, and I'm really sorry that happened to you. Um, as I told you, like uh, my best friend moved away, so I have, it's almost like she is kind of gone. She doesn't talk to me anymore. And then right before my birthday, my dog passed away. So, all right. We now have a bowl of water. I'm just gonna use this crappy pot. <laughs> Some people do it for the views, but I really help putting the vids that. Yeah, exactly. All right, so instead of Vaselining my arm, I uh, pre-cut this um, smaller garbage bag. And I'm just gonna wrap my forearm in it so that I don't have to Vaseline my arm. And it gives me kind of like a template to follow. So there we go. I'm going to be doing my left arm because uh, <laughs> if I use my right, I won't be able to 
can do anything because I'm right handed. Love watching your channel. New cow you just got. Yeah, it's a cool one, isn't it? I have actually got it trimmed, um, but I'm gonna I'm gonna use a Dremel to really get in those eyes a little bit better because they're not as perfect as I'd like them. All right, they're looking like they're in pretty good shape here. All right, so that's how big the uh, actual thing is going to be. All right, so now we can start putting on the plaster. So my hands are gonna be all, Ugh. so I'm gonna try and respond to everybody so I don't have to go back, because I won't be able to, I'm gonna be covered in plaster. So I'm gonna try to respond to everybody, so. Just dunk this in the water. All right. The one thing I didn't think about was having to wring this out. I didn't think that through. All right. So let's start right here. Yeah, we're gonna fold these so that they're stronger and it's easier for me to wring them out. Life-size cable man. Let me read this. Put this on and I'll read this. Friends, on Friends with Autobot John. His real name is John Freely. I told him he shouted him out. Yeah, he subscribed to my channel shortly after that. So I appreciate it. Um, I forgot to link his video. I said I was going to link it. Completely forgot. But I can go back in later and I can link it. Um, but shortly after I posted that, he actually subscribed to my channel. So he must have seen it. I'm glad because, yeah, like he was the main inspiration for wanting to do uh, the life-size Batman was because I saw how he did his. Um, and uh, he kind of gave like a step-by-step -step process of how it was done. And I was like, yeah, I really want to do that because like Keaton's my favorite Batman, right? I miss so much. Hey, how's it going, man? But yeah, he uh, he subscribed to my channel, so he must have seen it. So I appreciate if uh, he hadn't seen it before, if somebody had let him know, because I completely forgot to link his channel. I really wanted to, because yeah, he was uh, he was the main inspiration for wanting to do it. Because I haven't really seen anybody else do a life size Keaton before. He was the only one that I had seen. So yeah, he was the main inspiration for wanting to do it. And um, all the life-size Batmans that are online are like Chinese bootleg crappy ones. Um, and then like NECA has done some, but they've only done like the Arkham ones. And I didn't want a life-size Arkham one, I wanted a Keaton. So I want this to be thick, but I also don't want it to be too thick that I can't get my freaking hand out. You know what I mean? So I'm probably going to do just a few more layers. And then we'll try, we'll wait, and then we'll trim it off. And then I will cover the areas. Finally made it. Hey, what's up, Hyleen? How's it going? Guys, go subscribe to Hyleen Fox. Like right now, she's trying to hit 1,000K. I mean, uh, 1,000 1, subs. Come on. She helped me. She shouted out my channel, and uh, her peeps came over here and helped me reach 1K in like two days. Please. She does awesome gaming streaming. She's really funny.
you're just tuning in, Tylene, I am making a mold of my arm uh, to sculpt gauntlets on. I don't have a forearm, so I needed a proper forearm. So here we go. Thought I'd live stream it and chill with these people. Yeah, uh, I'm not too interesting here. We sometimes do gaming, but I don't have a setup like you do. Because um, I'm guessing you probably do off PlayStation or um, PC. I have an Xbox, so I need a capture card to be able to actually live stream. So I'm unable to actually do it properly. Which sucks, but whatever. I'm not really a gamer anyway. I downloaded the new Avengers game and I've been playing that, but... Stream looks great. Yeah, I'm using an app. I'm using a, an app called Prism. But I, I'm just saying I'm unable to like live stream gaming because I, uh, I use Xbox and they, they don't have that feature. You have to have a capture card and stuff, which sucks. How's the family? I just went to visit my mom. She's empty nesting. Uh, I dropped my dog off so that she could visit um, with my mom's dog. All right, I'm going to do one more on the wrist, and then I'm going to leave it. It's getting pretty heavy, and I'm scared I'm not going to be able to get my hand out. Is the new Avengers game cool? It's very repetitive, like very freaking repetitive. I was assuming it was going to be like an open world game, kind of like Arkham, because I streamed the crap out of Arkham games. I fucking love those things. And I am definitely going to try and get a capture card before Gotham Knights comes out, because fucking Gotham Knights looks fucking sick. I'm going to stream the crap out of Gotham Knights. All right. There we go. We got a forearm. I'm just going to leave it and let it dry. Um, but yeah, it's very repetitive. It's literally like a... Um, uh, What's the what's that other Marvel game? Ultimate Alliance. It's literally like an Ultimate Alliance, um, like ripoff. It's pretty much what it is. All you do is fight. That's it. You just fight and fight and fight and fight. And sometimes you can explore, but most of it's just repetitive fighting. So it's not really my thing. I think I'm like fifty percent done the story, and then I left the story because I was like. This sucks, and I went and played the other mode, and I'm trying to like level up Black Widow and stuff because she's pretty fucking sick to play with. But yeah. Do you have any Batman cowl? Do you have any Batman cowl? The first time that suit I want. Any cowl ideas for your first one? Are you looking for one that's like gonna be good for stunts and stuff? Or are you looking one that just looks fucking awesome and you don't give a shit? Because I highly recommend Fanatic Effects. I have like 30 Batman cowls in the collection right now, and 90% of them are from Fanatic Effects. He is the cheapest, he is the fastest, his quality is just as good as anyone else's, and he owns some stuff that has screen lineage. Like his Batman Returns, direct from the stunt molds. It's a new idea. Can you free roam as any character? Not necessarily. You can free roam in the levels. You can go wherever you want, do whatever you want, but it's 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 like level driven. It's not like an open world city or anything like that. You you select a mission, you go into it, and you can free roam around the whole mission. Um, do whatever the hell you want, but again, it's not like a free roam city. You can go wherever and do whatever, which kind of sucks. Kind of cheap one. Look good. Sorry, by the way. Can't type for it. That's okay. Um, if you're looking just for like a super cheap one, there's some uh, there's some ones online that are like bootlegs that I suggest. They're like 30 bucks. You can find them on eBay. Um, I don't really suggest rubies. They're very thinly made and crappy. Um, but if you're looking for a good one that like looks good, again, I recommend Fanatic Effects. You're getting a urethane cowl that's going to hold its shape, look awesome. Um, some of them are from the screen molds. 
and he's the cheapest for like something that's screen lineage you're paying like 200 bucks plus shipping whereas other sellers want like 400 plus shipping this guy cuts it right in half i plan to get the fanatic effects dark knight returns cowl i think it's dope i have it in the mail bro i have it in the mail it's on the way it's in toronto right now it should be here in a few days so i'm excited to get that and he said that he also sent me like a congratulations on 1000 subscribers he said there's something else in there too that i have no idea what it could be but he just said it was a gift and he keeps saying small i sent you a small gift he keeps, he keeps emphasizing small so i hope he didn't send me another full out cowl because i have no other cowl stands i'm completely out of cowl stands i want to do spandex black and gray keaton suit keaton's cowl gray muscle suit yeah, uh, Fnatic offers both Keaton cowls. He's got an 89, and he's got the 92. So whatever one you like more, he offers both of them. And for a muscle suit, um, I, I got my muscle suit on eBay, and it's not made of, um, of rubber. It's made of fabric. It's like fabric muscles. Um, and it's got, like, highlights and shit on it to make it look like the comic book. And it was... 300 bucks for a whole fuck ton of like mobility and it doesn't get hot in that thing. Uh, I recommend that one. If I could find a link, um, I would share it in my next video. But yeah, I recommend that one. Unless you're going for like full muscle, like my Keaton over there. Um, that was from Applied Sciences and that was about $700 because they're muscles right from the screen molds. My Keaton... My life-size Batman that I made, he's about $1,800 total of what I spent building him. And I still haven't got the marine vinyl to finish his boots. So I've got some stand-in stuff there, but I've got all the screen-molded stuff for him. So he was an investment, but I don't regret it. Damn. We getting, this thing is getting hot. It's setting. All right, we're going to cut ourselves out before it gets really hard to get out of this and then we will <clears throat> put it back together afterwards thumb is stuck are you okay sorry i was late yeah i'm okay i'm just doing a, a plaster mold of my arm to sculpt on i'm planning to make some uh some heat and gauntlets to offer so I needed a forearm. So I went and bought some plaster today. And I just broke the scissors. <laughs> That's okay, I got another pair. All right. All right, this should just slide off. Yep, there we go. All right, so we got a forearm. That was a smart idea. Because now, less cleanup. Look at that. Less cleanup. Didn't ruin the tattoo. Fucking awesome. All right. So, I got to wait for this to harden. Um, but actually, while that is waiting, what I'm going to do is I'm going to cover this seam on this that I just cut out. Cover this seam. Currently on the air, season one seat. Nice. Uh, I want to do Batman. Batman's always like a cosplay, like everybody wants to do Batman. Because, like, let's be honest, Batman's the coolest. Anybody who says Superman's the coolest, they secretly like Batman. Like, get out of here. Where can I get a Batman emblem from a hybrid suit? Fanatic Effects, he offers emblems. I believe right now he offers 89 emblems, returns emblems. Um, he offers flashpoint emblems. 
I, I saw that he had had uh, put on up on his store some flawed um, Nightwing emblems as well. So if you want like a Nightwing emblem, he offers them. Or you can do them out of foam. You can just get some EVA foam and uh, like all the emblems are online. Draw your template and then just cut it out of EVA foam if you don't want to spend any money. But if you want like uh, an emblem from like the movie or something, um, get from Fanatic Effects. I'll show you what you're getting. So if you get an emblem from Fanatic Effects, this one's a returns and it's made of resin and it's pretty thick. Um, this here is just some glue. I removed this from my current cowl because I have a brand new one coming in the mail. Um, so I kept the emblem so that I could put this on the brand new one. But I have a brand new returns coming in the mail. So this is what you're getting if you get Fanatic Effects. They're really thick resin emblem. They're really good. Um, and then some people offer emblems out of uh, urethane. So this one here is a urethane emblem. Batman and Robin urethane emblem. Some people offer urethane emblems as well. But I prefer the resin ones because they actually, they glue better. Because anyone who's familiar with urethane, like, nothing wants to stick to it. So yeah, you get the flexibility, but it won't adhere to anything. So you're going to want to get a resin one. <sighs> the king is back. Which king? Elvis? You guys want to hear some Elvis? I'll play some Elvis while we wait for this to dry. <clears throat> play some Elvis for you. Because I'm not, I'm not the king. Elvis is the king. Is the Plane Returns logo on your cowl? I sent my current returns cowl to Paul Roberts. And I'm getting his returns cowl. He wanted to do a change. He said that he wanted, um, no nah, man, you are back. Uh, you are, um, what's my call it? He wanted mine because it's from a uh, stunt mold and it's a flawed casting. It's got some stuff that's wrong with it. But Paul Roberts is like a wizard with latex and urethane and any rubber like that. He's been in the industry forever. So he knows how to fix it. So he asked me just to send it to him and he'll send me his returns. So I sent it to him. I also put some other little goodies in there for him. Um, and I shipped that yesterday as well as the contest winners both got their items shipped to them yesterday. You are the king of the cows, king of the cows. Okay. So you guys don't want to hear any of this then is what you're saying. I whip out the guitar and everyone's like, no, you're the king. I was prepared to play some Elvis for you guys. Because Elvis is fucking awesome. <laughs> Elvis, yeah, exactly. Elvis is the king, man. I love Elvis. And it's funny because growing up, I never really got into Elvis. Like, I was always, um, play Elvis. Okay, uh, I'll play Elvis in a minute. Growing up, I never got into Elvis. I thought he was too old for me and I wasn't really into it. I'd heard a few songs. Um, but I grew up on like Motley Crue and Guns N' Roses and stuff and uh, never really got into Elvis until recently. I mean, you singing is the best, yeah. I don't know what to play though. Oh. You guys want to hear? Here's some, here's some Elvis while we wait for this to dry. Because uh, one thing about plaster, okay guys, do not um, dispose of this immediately, okay? When you're working with plaster, don't dispose of it down your sink immediately because it's still in the curing process and it'll clog your drain. So if you dispose of this right away, it will destroy your drain. So what I'm planning to do is wait till this is cured, move it off to the side. Then I'm gonna dump this water outside and 
throw the 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 plaster that's in here in the garbage. Do not put it down your sink. It will freaking ruin it. Don't be cruel by all this. I don't want to do too much because I'm in an apartment now and I don't want all these people being like, shut up. So there are some uh, don't be cruel by all this. Usually if I'm going to do any song stuff, I do it really early in the morning because everyone's usually at work. But now everyone's kids are coming back home from school and probably getting ready for supper and they're going to tell me to shut the fuck up. Damn, you're good. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you very much. There was some Elvis for you. So there is the forearm. So what I'm planning to do is I'm going to cover this and cover this. Um, actually, I might try and mount this on something so that I can sculpt a gauntlet on this. I'm planning to do an 89 gauntlet and then offer them in latex. That's awesome, man. Uh, no, that means I got a mask at Hot Topic. Oh, from the purge. Ah, okay. I understand now. I still can't believe this plaster was so strong. It busted these scissors. That's hilarious. These are like these scissors aren't even that old. I got a knife set for my mom for Christmas last year. And then she ended up getting a brand new set this year. And uh, so she just gave me her old one. So these have not really been used, but boom, they're already broken. It's okay, I got two other pairs that I've just collected from places. Uh, none beats Keaton's Batman. Exactly, exactly. Keaton is the best. Do your Joker impression. I'm back, by the way. I had to go for a minute. Do your Joker impression. Hot Leo, the shop is tool in my shed. I can't do the laugh, because, again, the laugh is so loud that I'll get a complaint. It's one thing that sucks about living in an apartment building, is that... Anything you do can get a noise complaint, and I don't want to chance it. I really don't. I've I've lived here for three months now. I have not got one complaint, so I just, I do not want to get a complaint at all. So, I might actually try to cover this top area while we still have everything out. Where did I put that plaster? No one beats Keith Batman exactly, but... Keaton is the best. I'm so excited to see him play Batman again. He's always been my favorite, and the fact that he's going to be returning as Batman, I'm there. There we go. Another pair of scissors. I was excited to get a deal on a Hot Toys Batman. Oh, I don't actually own any Hot Toys. Damn, you're good, Joker. You're good at Joker. It's available. Anybody who wants me to voice Joker for them, I do it for free because I just enjoy it. So if anyone's doing fan films or wants like a new YouTube intro or something, I'll do your Joker voice. I like doing it. I don't ask for payment. I just like to do it. So I think I've mentioned previously, I I was the voice of this cosplay couple, um, John and Julia. They wanted an intro for their YouTube channel. So I'd like to, hello, welcome back to this cosplay couple. That was me. I did that. John's a good friend of mine. Julia's freaking awesome. I love working with them whenever I get a chance. They're really cool people. And I still speak to John, like, almost every day. He's a cool guy. We talk about costuming and 
what cowl are you going to add to your collection? What are you getting here? Blah, blah, blah. Plus, I'm fascinated with his wrestling stuff. He's, uh, he takes commissions on, like, professional wrestling gear now. And he makes all that stuff for people. So, that's pretty cool. All right. Do you still have the rotten pa the Robert? Yeah, it's in the corner. The Pattinson, it's over in the corner. I'm planning on upgrading though, because Fanatic Effects is putting out a version two, and he took 3D scans of uh, Robert from the trailer. So his version two, he showed progress on it of the 3D render. It looks fucking amazing. So I'm planning to upgrade. So maybe my current Pattinson will be a giveaway one day. We hit 2,000 subs, I'll give the Pattinson away. Nice, can't wait to see it. Yeah, it looks really nice. Like, um, it's got like the collar included in it now. His uh, current version, he did all the, he, he offers the whole suit. You guys can buy the whole Pattinson suit from Fanatic Effect. He did the entire thing. Um, but the current version that he has, the cowl and the collar are separate. But for his new version, they're combined. So, I want to get that thing because it looks cool with the collar. What do you think about Pattinson's Batman? I did not like it until um, I saw the trailer. Well, I, I, can't, I can't say I didn't like it. Okay, I can't say I didn't like it. I think Robert is a great actor, but I hadn't seen him in anything besides Twilight. So I only had Twilight to base my opinion on, which is an unfair thing to do because obviously he was playing a particular character in that, and it's very like teen drama, so that was what he was hired to do. Um, so yeah, but... I saw the trailer and I was like, okay, this guy's, this guy's going to be good. Would you love to see, would you love to have a Batman Keaton sooner or wait, would you love to have Batman Keaton cowl sooner or later? I have one already. I have every on-screen cowl in my collection. I finally finished it. This past year, I have every single one that was seen on screen. The only one that I do not own is the armored Affleck from Batman vs. Superman, because that is a helmet, it's not a cowl. But every on-screen Batman cowl, I own them. This is the cowl vault, guys. I, I own them all. My favorite is Batman Returns cowl. I'm not a fan of the Pattinson cowl. That's okay. I think it's cool. But it's not for everyone. Um, you know, a lot of people kind of put Affleck as their new standard. So when they saw like the Adam West inspired cowl that um, Pattinson's gonna have, they're like, what is that? So I get it. I get that it's not for everyone. All right, here we go. So we've closed that off. So now we got the forearm and we closed it so that I can sculpt on this um, a gauntlet. So that's what you got to do, guys. You got to get the access plaster off your hands in the water. Um, get as much of it off as you can before you wash your hands because this stuff will cure in your drain and it'll ruin your drain. Personally, I want to keep in calm. Everybody does, dude. They're the best. Oh, I, oh, you would love... Okay. Okay, I get it now. Did you know Michael Keaton? Yeah, I'm excited. My favorite Batman is returning. No pun intended. All right, where did I put that towel? All right. Yeah, I'm excited. I'm really excited. 
I never thought in a million years I would see Keaton play Batman again. I thought maybe, maybe he would come back as old Bruce Wayne for like a Batman Beyond movie. But I was like, that's never going to happen. But then when he was cast as his 89 version of Batman, and they're going to bring back the Burton verse for the Flash movie, I'm all there. Nostalgia, exactly. Nostalgia. Keaton's the best Batman. I'm sorry, but like, that's just my opinion. Everyone has their favorite Batman, but Keaton is my favorite. He's Batman to me, like 100%. He is. When I think of Batman, I think of Michael Keaton. Then after Michael Keaton, I think of Kevin Conroy. And then after that, you know, I think of all the other Batmans, like Clooney and Kilmer and all of them that have played Batman. But to me, Michael Keaton is Batman, period. Conroy Bale Keaton West Affleck. Really? You put you put Bale above Keaton. Ooh, ooh, that hurts. Ooh. Ooh, that hurts. But again, that's that's your preference, dude. Okay, now my hands are washed. I can go back. Do you have any plans of doing a life size knack with Jack Nicholson? No guy. Um I do want to purchase the Nicholson bust that's on eBay. It's from Adam Kinder. I don't want to order from him again, but I want it. And I'm not sure who the original person who created it is, because I've never seen it anywhere else besides Adam Kinder's um, eBay page. So I might end up getting it, but I don't like to support him. And he currently recasted a Kilmer head. So now he offers a Kilmer head um, that was recasted off of Bat of Burbank. So I sent him a screenshot of that. And I think he's going after that guy. So hopefully we can get him shut down. Yeah, for me personally, the only thing is needed. Damien Rain or oh okay. I have a patent some cowl on the way. Make sure to watch your review before buying it. Yeah, it's a good cowl. It's a good cowl. Um that's his version one. He's coming out with a version two, and the version two looks fucking sick. I can't wait for that thing. And then this one will probably be done for a giveaway at 2,000 subs. Not saying I need 2,000 subs overnight, but when we hit 2,000 subs, I'll give away the patents and cowl. Batman the. I haven't seen yet. Uh, I haven't seen... I'm still new to your channel. I did. I reviewed both Kilmer Cowls. Um, one of them is titled uh, Batman Forever Cowl Review, and the other one is uh, Batman Sonar Cowl Review. I reviewed both of them on the, on the channel. They are both over there. I got the whole set of movie cowls. The only one missing over there right now is the returns, because I sent my returns to Paul Roberts, and I'm waiting for his, but he's shipping it to me right away. Um, but... That's the only one missing from over there right now, but I, I did own it and I have a brand new one on the way. Um, I really like Paul Roberts sculpt on his, so I did a trade. It's pretty, uh, pretty good. So, yeah, I'm going to be covering that in clay and sculpting a Keaton gauntlet. Keaton was your childhood, that man. Bill was mine. Ah, uh, okay. You must be younger than me. I can't wait to see your new returns, Cal. Me neither. It's going to be reviewed. Um, I got it done in raw latex. So, I had him not plasti dip it. I just wanted the raw latex. Um, I wanted to see what it was like because the only Paul Roberts item I've ever owned Actually, no, I've owned two. My 89 is from him. And then the Dawn of Justice that we did a giveaway was from him. And both of, both of them are plasti-dipped. And they're heavy and thick, and they don't stretch very much. 
I want to see what a raw latex piece from Paul Roberts is like. So I asked him not to plastic it, but any plans on Adam West cowl? I got it. It's over there, bro. Yeah, nostalgia like Toby Maguire's Spider Man is my favorite. And Mike Keaton is my favorite Batman. I like Toby Maguire, uh, Maguire's Spider Man as well. I think he was a good Spider Man. Unfortunately, I got stuck with Clooney as my childhood Batman. Kilmer was mine. I was born in 95. So Kilmer's technically my Batman, but the first movie I ever watched was Batman 89. That was my introduction to Batman. He was the first Batman I ever saw. And then I used to rent the Batman the Animated Series um, VHS tapes from the, uh, from the uh, video rental store all the time. So Conroy was like my next Batman. And then I saw all the other ones with Clooney and, and Kilmer and everybody. Yeah, I have it. I got, I got all of them, man. I got all of them. Yeah. I'm just waiting on my new returns and then the set will be complete again. I had the complete set, did a trade, just waiting for the new one. I was born in 92, so Kilmer was my Batman, but Keaton will always be my Batman. Exactly. Keaton is the best. Batman and Batman Returns, yeah. Uh, used to watch Batman and Robin all, all the time. Yeah, yeah. I I used to see like the Super Friends stuff and all that, and I saw like the Scooby Doo meets Batman and stuff when I was growing up. Like I was introduced to so many different variations of Batman, but when you're younger, you don't realize they're different. You just think that's Batman. Period. So I didn't know there was different actors. I didn't know that a cartoon differed from a movie because you're naive when you're younger. Batman was Batman to me. Um, but I really resonated with Keaton. Like, I thought that that was Batman. And then when I grew up, obviously, you realize that people play these parts, people do these parts in movies, they voice these characters, stuff like that. Scooby-Doo meets Batman is art. Exactly. The original one. Okay, they've, they've done a bunch of other crossovers now. I think he's been crossed over with Batman at least three more times. Because he did, they did a uh, Batman Brave and the Bold meet Scooby Doo, and then they just recently did like the new Scooby Doo, like Scooby Doo, and Who or something like that. And Batman was in that. Kevin Conroy voiced Batman, and Mark Hamill voiced Joker. That was freaking cool. Um, but the original Scooby Doo meets Batman, like the old, like Adam West and Burt Ward voicing them, that was awesome. I actually didn't pay attention to Keaton's different suit and returns. I just loved him as Batman. Yeah, I never noticed they were different until later on when you pay attention to stuff like that. Um, I, I, I don't know. I just There's something so simple and impactful about the 89 suit that I prefer it over the returns because he looks kind of brutal and rough, whereas in you know returns, everything was like slimmed down, sleeked up, and uh, he looked kind of uncomfortable a little bit. I don't know. It just wasn't for me. The 89 is my favorite, which is why I invested so much money in replicating it for my living room. But guys, for real, do me a favor. Go over to Hylene Fox and subscribe. I don't think she's watching anymore, but she was here earlier. So if you scroll up until you find her, go and subscribe. She helped me reach 1K, and I want to reciprocate the kind deed. She's almost there. I believe she's at like 870 or something like that. Maybe a little bit higher. I can't remember. But she's almost there. And she streams video games. She's pretty funny. She's entertaining to watch. BRB. All right, dude. And I'm sending her some horror stuff for her collection. She's got like a bunch of Pennywise stuff. And she's a big fan of Stephen King. So I'm going to send her a few of my items that I got here. And I'm going to send her a casting of Billy, because I like to promote my own work. So, i got to cast her up a Billy. Boom. This mold has seen hell. Like, this mold has absolutely seen hell. This mold... 
Like I think twice I forgot to add mold release. So all that is like resin that's just like stuck in there. Are you a wrestling fan? Not really. I'm not really into any sport. I lost the Scooby Doo. Right? Sorry to hear that, dude. This one's still curing. This is all cured, though. This is still curing. Do you have any plans for a full suit other than Keaton? Uh, like one to cosplay? In? I don't think I'm going to cosplay. Honestly... I did it twice, twice. I, I went to a convention twice in a cos in a costume. First one I did was Batfleck, and I did it completely my own way because I did it before the movie came out. So I just bought a gray lycra suit and I sprayed through a netting design, like a like a knitting netting design with all the little checkers in it. I sprayed through that to give it a checkered texture. And I drew the lines and I put an emblem and stuff like that. And it fell apart while I was at the convention. It was not good. It was my first outfit. It was horrible. And then I had done a nightmare suit, but I never premiered it or went anywhere in it. I just put it together. And then I did Red Hood once. But I just, I'm not really, I like building props. I don't really like wearing them. Like my cowl collection sits on the shelf. Every now and then, just for shits and giggles, I'll throw on a cowl because it's cool. But I don't really think I'm going to build a full suit and do anything with it. You know, it's a thing in the cover. Mm. That sucks. That Scooby-Doo is the shit. I don't know if I'm going to sculpt on this tonight. I don't know what time it is. I can't tell if that says six or eight. It's almost 630. So I don't know if I'm going to get started on this tonight, but I just wanted the form. So that's why I did this. Just to get the form so that I could sculpt on it, um, an 89 gauntlet. Life is life. Yeah. It was hard to find parts for a full Keaton. Was it hard to find? Some of them, yes. Some of them, they're pretty readily available. A lot of costume makers offer this stuff all the time. The Nikes were expensive because they're not made anymore. So I, I got them on eBay. I believe I paid like $150 for them. They're one size too small, so they don't fit me, but I didn't need them to fit me. I just needed them to fit the mannequin. So I didn't care about the size. They were about 150 bucks. They were expensive. Um, the cape is just a generic cape that's been sprayed with latex off AliExpress. So it was pretty cheap. Um, and everything else I either sought out or found. Like the boot armor and the toe caps, I just found those one day on eBay and bought them. The belt was a flawed item. It has a small scratch on the back, but nothing else was wrong with it. No one sees the back. So I got that for like nothing. Um, the bust, I had to do all the work on myself. It was a recast from Adam Kinder and it was not very good. So I had to literally rebuild it from the ground up and it's to the right specification now. And then the armor was pretty expensive. The glove, like everything, it was just expensive. I wouldn't say it was hard to find, but the, the shoes, the shoes were probably the most difficult thing to find. And when I found them, they were expensive. Now the movie is hard to get. Will you one day make a video dressing up as Batman walking around it and talking on the street? I don't think so. I don't think so. I have a muscle suit. And I've got gloves and boots and stuff. And I just use Keaton's cape whenever I dress up as Batman. But 
I don't like to. I don't really. I'm not really into cosplay. I like prop building and prop collecting. I'm not really for dressing up, because like three years ago when I moved out for the first time, I got fat. Okay, I'm getting older. I got fat, and I'm too lazy to work out and like get into a Batman shape. Um, the muscle suit makes you look better, but you still have to suck in your gut, and it's, I don't know, it's a lot of commitment to dress up as Batman, so I don't think I'm going to do it. But I do want to get um, the cowl turn. That's my next project. I want to, once my 3D print of the Affleck cowl shows up, I'm going to be doing all the finishing work on it, adding texture to it, molding it, and then finding a way to make it turn. I'm going to try uh, endless materials until I get it to turn. And I will privately offer Batman Donna Justice cowls that turn. What was the first cowl you got? The very first cowl I ever got was the Gauntlet Effects uh, Arkham Origins cowl. That was the very first one I ever got. And um, I went through a lot to try and get it because at the time I didn't have a debit card. I was pretty young and my parents were like, no, you don't need a debit card. You don't need blah, blah, blah. I had like a part-time job at McDonald's back then. So the way that I had to pay him was through a money order. So I had to go down to the bank and do a money order, send it to him, and then he got it and sent me the cowl. So the very first cowl I ever got was the Gauntlet Effects Arkham Origins cowl. And I don't regret that. That was a good one to start with. That got me into cowls. That was the first one. After that, I can't remember what I got next. I think it was a Dawn of Justice. I'm pretty sure the next cowl I got was um, the Iconic Effects Dawn of Justice version 1 that was sculpted by Ryan Eaton. And it did not look accurate by today's standards. If you were to see the version 1, you'd be like, that looks nothing like Affleck's cowl. It's because it was an early sculpt. But I think that was the very second cowl I ever got. And I ended up selling it. And then after that, I just kind of went crazy, and now I got like 30 Batman cowls in here. But I've done trades, I've sold, I've done whatever, gotten rid of them, given them away. The ones in my collection right now, I don't want to part with. I'm happy with all of them. Um, but I will update, I will upgrade the Pattinson, and then that Pattinson will either be sold or done for a giveaway at 2,000 subscribers. So I'm always upgrading, as I did with my returns. My returns, I didn't want to get rid of, but I'm doing an exchange with Paul Roberts for his returns. And uh, now that the movie set is finished, I'm working on collecting comic Batman cowls that I'm into. So yesterday we unboxed the Flashpoint. Next, I really want to get a Neil Adams. The Batman vs Superman cowl, I think. What do you mean? What do you mean by that? Batman vs. Superman cowl, I think. Like, that's your favorite one? The one that I own in my collection is not the most accurate, but it's sentimental to me because I saw a review of it online years ago, and uh, that's what really got me into Batman cowls was that people made this stuff. I thought nobody made this. I thought that they were in the movies, and then you could get Halloween costumes, and that's it. But I saw a review of a Batman cowl um, on YouTube years ago of the Rocketeer Dawn of Justice cowl. And I was like, that's awesome. And since then, I've just been collecting cowls like they're going out of style. And I now own the Rocketeer Batman Dawn of Justice cowl in my collection. I saw it on eBay, purchased it because it's what, it's what sparked all of this for me. Now I have it in my collection. Based on... The recent trailer of Batman does the Pattinson cowl 
you own still look accurate. It looks pretty accurate, yeah. I, I still think it's pretty accurate. Um, yeah, no, I, I think that Selman did a great job on the version one, but the, um, the version two looks even better, so I'm going to be upgrading. No, the first cowl. Not a question I told you. Is it correct? I asked, what was your first cowl? The first cowl was the Arkham Origins cowl by Gauntlet FX. It was not a Dawn of Justice. It was the Arkham Origins one because I could afford it. I believe at the time he was offering them for $150 USD, which is around 210 Canadian plus shipping. So that was my very first cowl was the Arkham Origins cowl by Gauntlet FX. I liked the look of it. Um, it's my favorite Arkham bat suit out of the trilogy. So I spent my money on that. And I don't have it anymore. I have an Arc Morgens cowl in the collection, but it's Hernandez, and it's not very accurate. So I'd like to get the Arc Morgens one again from Gauntlet eventually, and then sell that one, or if I can find somebody offering it, just do a trade with them. Because the one in my collection right now, it's not very accurate. gonna dump this water out guys hold on one second what is this it i want to get a covid mask a batman logo on it oh it's you know what's funny i'm finding it hard to find batman cowls on ebay right now because every time you look at batman mask that's all that comes up is hospital covid masks no longer batman cowls show up because usually i'll look at batman cowl and then I'll look up Batman cowl mask, and I'll look up Batman mask, because they're all kind of categorized the same, and some people list them differently. But now when you look up Batman mask, that's all that shows up is COVID masks. That's it. It's going to be cool. Okay, one second. I'm just going to dump this water out. So, yeah, if you're working plaster, dump out your water outside, then wait for this to cure, break it, and throw it in the garbage. Do not put it down the drain. You will ruin your drain. Yeah, see all that plaster left in there? Wait for that to cure. It'll harden, okay? It'll become like a like pavement. Then just get like, I don't know, the end of your scissors or whatever and just break it. Throw it right in the garbage. Don't put it down the drain. You will ruin your drain. 100% bet money, you'll ruin your drain. And it's expensive to get that unclogged. That is like the only thing that I see people do wrong with plaster is they'll finish and they're covered in plaster. They'll immediately go wash their hands. All that goes down the drain. They'll dump this down the drain, put that down the drain. It'll harden and wreck your pipes. You don't want to do that. But I did a review of the uh, the cowl that started it all for me. But I'll show you guys here while we're talking. So this cowl was not the first one in my collection. But this is the exact cowl that I saw on eBay. Not eBay. On YouTube. 
um, that got me interested in Batman columns. It's this one right here. This is the Batman vs. Superman by the Rocketeer. So as you can see, it's good, but it was an early sculpt, and it's not the most accurate on the market. Like, it's really not. There's so many better ones on the market now. But this was the cowl that I saw on, on uh, YouTube, somebody showing it off, um, that let me know people made this stuff. And I was like, that's cool. And somebody was selling one for, like, dirt cheap on eBay. So I bought it. So now the cowl that started the cowl vault is now in the in the collection. It's a nice cow. I wish I was I wish I knew how to sculpt. I would love to sculpt figures. Oh nice. I'm eating, sorry. No, it's all good. Yeah, but this is the one. This is the cowl that started my cowl collecting obsession. Yeah, was not the first one in the collection though. Like I didn't, I didn't buy this, and this was my first cow. This was just one that I saw on eBay, and I was like, "That's the one!" Like that's the one from that video, which I can't find on on YouTube anymore. I think that they deleted it. But yeah, it was just somebody showing this off. It's like three minutes long, and I saw this on eBay and had to get it. I had to get it. Do you very, do you very often watch Batman movies? How often? Which is your favorite Batman? Which one is your most favorite? Batman 89 is my all-time favorite movie of all time. Um, but no, I don't frequently watch Batman. I don't just sit at home and watch Batman all the time. Um, I mean, I watch Batman-related stuff on YouTube every day, but I don't sit and watch like all the movies. I don't any, anything like that. Every now and then I'll re-watch Gotham because I really like that show. Um, but no, I don't frequently watch Batman consistently. I'm probably going to wrap this up pretty quick, guys. I just wanted to live stream making this. It's almost cured. Um, so maybe in the next live stream, I'll sculpt the gauntlet. I just needed a forearm. That's what I needed, was I needed a forearm um, to sculpt on. So I was like, cheapest way, get some plaster, make my own forearm, and call it a day. To me, I think Ledger was the best joker. My Nicholson. Well, live action, I like Nicholson, all time, Mark Hamill. Mark Hamill is the Joker to me. What's up, bro? It's been a while, how's everything? Everything's fine, dude, everything's okay. Um, my roommates are leaving, they found their own place, so my sister's gonna be moving in to that other bedroom. Um, her and her girlfriend will be living here. So it'll be nice to have my sister here because she'll probably follow the rules. Whereas my current roommates don't give a shit about the rules. They leave a mess. They leave my screen door wide open at night so anyone can just break in here and steal all my shit. Um, so it'll be nice to have my sister here so that um, my stuff is a little bit more safe because I know that she'll lock up. Um, other than that, been working nonstop, collecting here and there, paying my rent. Pretty basic. But guys, I think I'm going to end the stream here. Like I said, I just wanted to make this forearm. Figured I'd live stream it and talk to you guys instead of just sitting here and waiting for this to cure on my own. But now I got a forearm. So in the next live stream, I'll sculpt a gauntlet on this. Um, and we'll chat some more. Thank you, everyone that came to listen to me do random stuff for the last hour and five minutes. I really appreciate it. Thank you for 1,000 subscribers. I very much appreciate that. Um,
Thanks for all your comments in the comment section. I'd love to help people out with their costuming stuff. Which cowl do you want? Anything like that. I got a lot of knowledge about this stuff. If you guys ever have any questions about Batman cowls, sellers, anything like that, I've dealt with almost all of them. Just leave a comment, message me on Instagram, Facebook, anything like that, and I'll get back to you. Join my Facebook group, guys. I started a Facebook group. It's called the Cowl Vault Batman Costuming Group. Everyone is accepted. As long as you've had Facebook for over three months, you'll be accepted automatically. And uh, I'd love to see you guys all there. We just share our costumes and stuff like that, our collections. And uh, it's a little less toxic than the official Batman costuming group because everyone there is just manhunt and it's really toxic. Mine, no toxicity. Everyone is welcome. And I'd love to see you guys there. The Cowl Vault Batman costuming group. Make sure you guys go over to my friend's channel, Hylene Fox. She's trying to hit a thousand subs. She's almost there. Give her a subscription, guys. Even if you're not really into the content, just ignore them. That's fine. Just give her the subscription. Get her to 1,000 subs. And until next time, guys, peace out and be good people.